Today Jarvis and I are going to take a look at the disgusting special effects makeup kit. Apparently it's gruesome. You can learn how to do all the effects that they do in the movies. Excuse that horn in the background. Beep beep. So we're going to bust, hang on I'll show you the back. We're going to bust this thing open in a minute. Show you what's inside and we'll have a go at one of them. Just like the real movies, apparently. Scars and burns. Alright, so let's have a look. You grab it, Jarvis, and we'll see what's inside. Oh, all in one container here. So we've got cups to probably pour stuff in the ink and the glue and all these colours. Various other colours. And store us to blow it all over and stuff. You've, we've got some kind of water. Special type of water, maybe. What do you reckon? We bust it open and, um, have, a and go. Have, a, have a go. Okay. Well, guys, here we go. These are the cups which we have, which can't come in the container. We're going to try and use those, maybe. So we're just going to take them out one by one and show yep. them what's inside here. What does that and say? And here's the petroleum, petroleum jelly. Petroleum jelly, perfect. Big tub and of that. And here's the straws to blow all the ink, and here's the spoons to pour it on yourself. But now we have this to show you. It's corn sugar syrup. Corn syrup. Corn syrup. Cool. To pour yourself probably to make it all sticky and stuff, because syrup is very sticky. Mm, there we go. And here we have got some glue. Some glue, is it? Yeah. Oh, cool. School glue. So maybe just something to put on. What else is in the bag? And here we've got some Zia Maze Stretch Corn Stretch. It's corn starch. Corn starch. Not bad reading. And Pretty good reading. And we've got gelatin. 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 Doing pretty good reading there. Jarvis is only six, so he's doing some pretty good reading there. And here's the, I think this is the website maybe. Oh, the website, and do you reckon these might be the instructions? Yeah. Show everyone the instructions. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these uh, special effects and show you how to do it. But we're making this one. There. Java says it looks like a bone sticking out. I'm not so sure. That's what it says on the cover. Does it? Oh, yeah. Okay, well there you go. And Smart kid. Alright, step one. Use your finger to dab a tiny amount of red food colouring onto your skin. Or maybe we could use green to smooth. Whenever you want to make a fake word, smear the food colouring so that the area has jagged edges. If the colour seems too dark, add a dab of water and smear that around to lighten the colour. Alright, so we're going to get a bit of red, uh, uh, red food colouring here. Red food colouring, if you have normal food colouring, I wouldn't use it. I would just use what comes with it, just in case it might be special food colouring. So we might just... Just use what comes in your packet. Don't use yours. Looks weird. Feels really inky. It feels inky, does it? Right now, that's getting darker, so. Is that what it's supposed to look like, dark? Jagged edges. Maybe like this? Yeah, so it gets lighter. Yeah, right, okay. Alright, so we got some uh, red food colouring down. Alright, step two. Use your stick, your stir stick, to put a glob of petroleum jelly uh -oh. on the top of the red wound area. Use right, here we go. petroleum jelly, get your spoon stick. Yep, hang on. And we'll show the... them the petroleum jelly. I have to take the lid off here. It's hard. Hang on. It's going to burst. These, this is all poison stuff, so keep it away from your babies if you have one. <laughs> Very good advice there, Jarvis. All right, so I'm going to grab... You, or don't eat it because... Yeah, I wouldn't eat petroleum jelly. I, I wouldn't I'd eat anything. You wouldn't eat anything? You're starving. Of this, you don't of this. Oh, okay, right. Okay, petroleum yeah. jelly, we're going to get this in here. Yeah, so as it say, I want to need to read, use your stick. Put a glob of petroleum jelly. Oh, I use the stick. I used the wrong end. Here we go. So smear it all over. 
put on the top of the of the area of the red. All right, mm. over the top there. Maybe I put a little bit too much on. I'll take some of that off. This looks really yucky. It looks really yucky. You like it? Yeah. You might want right. to take that petroleum jelly off it there. Lay off this bit here. Yeah. To come off? Yep. Yep, there we go. Alright, so back step on it three. So it dry away. Oh, okay, righto, Jarvis. Cut and or tear two pieces of toilet paper about the oh. same size and shape as the petroleum jelly on your skin. Put the pieces of toilet paper side by side on top of the petroleum jelly. Let the jelly soak into the paper. Alright, give me five seconds. I'll go and grab a tissue. Needs to soak all in, so we'll just take that bit off. Oh, yep. Yeah. I see what's going on. That's all soaked in. Yeah. Right up. Next step, use your stick to stir, use your stir stick to make a dent down the middle of the wound between the two strips of toilet paper. This should look like the place where the skin was cut. Smooth the edges down of the toilet paper to blend in with your skin. So that's going to stay on me for the trick. So it needs to be, those need to be closer together. Well, I've actually sort of created a bit of a, there it is. Oh yeah, very cool.